Warrumbula State Forest, a mountain range that borders the south and west of Cairns, including the suburb of Red Hill. In audio report number 130, we interview a lady who had an extremely traumatic and life-changing encounter that still haunts her to this day. While exercising on Red Hill, she entered a track with a man walking ahead. A yaoi steps out from behind a tree, watching the man as he walks further down the track. It then turned its head to discover that man wasn't the only one on the hill being observed. The expression turned to anger, and with its fists clenched, it yelled and ran at the lady, pushing her in the back and over an embankment. Linked to the Dunbella Range on the southern end is Lake Tinaru, which was constructed in 1953. The township itself only has an estimated 300 people. Very few people live on the edge of this vast mountain range. The physical characteristics of the Red Hill encounter are remarkably similar to this week's report. Not much taller than five foot and powerfully built. Both sightings were within just five years of each other. Welcome to Lake Tinnerun. I was in the army in those days and I was based in Townsville and had a weekend off. From Townsville it's not too far, you know, it's only a, well, I can't even remember now, probably four hour drive or whatever it might have been up there. And uh, we're going up to camp. You were by yourself or with some other people? Uh, no, I had, my brother was visiting and I had my girlfriend at the time and his girlfriend at the time, she was in the front seat. Um, I was driving, she was in the front passenger seat. Yeah, late afternoon, and we were, we were camping that evening, you know, and we'd driven there from Townsville, I suppose, for the day. And we're going back to um, set up camp before dark, so we're in a bit of a hurry, I suppose, going through this, um, uh, like a, a single vehicle, half over the ground, you know, open enough, though. You can still do 60 or 70 k's in, in the bush. End up about... Uh, just driving along, I thought, what the hell's that? And I was about 100 metres, I reckon, in front of the car on the left-hand verge. And then uh, my brother's girlfriend, her name was Zilla, she looked as well. I said, shit, you know, I don't know what that is. Sort of thing. And, you know, we're crazy, you know, I'm probably doing 50 or 60k an hour. And I thought, no way, what's this? And I just, like, dropped it as fast as I could go. I think it was a Falcon I was driving or something. I wanted to see what it was because, I, you know, I was, I was in, in the infantry, you know, I worked in the bush, I'd seen... A lot of what North Queensland had, had to offer in what's in the bush and stuff. And I thought, I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah, sort of made 100 metres pretty quick, you know, if you're travelling at 50 or 60k or whatever we're doing and um, look for it. As we were moving, and it was just gone. Like, you'd think an animal you still see flaying or whatever. This thing had gone to ground and gone to cover, I reckon. It shows it was smart, hey? Was this pretty open ground? I mean, was it where could it hide, or was it pretty scrubby? It was um, typical sort of forested sort of track around that, that as in Tablelands country. Is the first couple of metres of semi sort of enclosed off the verge. If you were twenty metres in, you'd be getting pretty hard. So you know, I was getting thicker fairway off the off the side. But this thing was gone. So you saw it about how far ahead of the car? When I first saw it, probably I reckon about 100 metres, maybe 120 metres. And about for how many seconds you have it in view? A good gawk and enough to say, look at that, and someone else was able to then focus, find it, and look at it as well. And it was crouching. It was semi-crouching on the side of the road. Like, it wasn't fully standing, but you could see, see it was pretty thick set. Um, I didn't see it in full stand because when it was crouching and, and moving when it was taking off, but it was sort of, um, it was out there. What did it look like? Describe the thing that you saw. I just went, whoa. just saw the figure and the shape, and and I think I was probably only looking at the side of his head when I sort of really had a good look at it. Because he's already turning and moving off, you know. He was pretty quick. He didn't hang around. So wait a second. You're saying it was crouching first, then it sort of stood and turned and moved off? Well, to move, it sort of had to rise to push off, you know, as you do if you're crouching. Mm. And um, it was pushing off, and it rose probably, you know, whether it be another... 20 or 30 centimetres from the crouching position. So I only saw an overall height of five foot. I don't think I saw any taller than that. I think I could say it was six foot tall when it was in that crouchy sort of moving height. But by the time it got fully up, it was away? 
mainly moving but also becoming hard to see because other bushes are sort of cutting your view as you're driving along and stuff, but you knew where it was. So, you know, I was only 50 metres behind it sort of thing, and it's like, right, I know where you are in the bush, and you're looking, you're looking for that spot and putting a 10-metre radius because you know you're going to see it. That was not there. Yeah, but what struck you about being so unusual, given that you had a kind of limited view to a degree, what struck you about it sort of being so unusual? Its shape, the way it moved, it coat, obviously. Everyone says, oh, what it looked like? And I said, well, if I had to describe it, just think of something like Chewbacca of Star Wars, a thick sort of matted hairy coat. Not overly long, but certainly not short. What, what was the colour of this thing? Pretty dark brown quite dark brown, yeah. And if you're saying a coat, were you talking about a smooth coat like a Labrador or something else? Sort of matted, sort of longer, hairy sort of stuff. Are you talking about something that's just a human with hair or is it something bigger or smaller? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm trying to think of the build here. I think we think even, you know, guys that we'd call gorillas, that would be about where they were starting. A very, from what I saw, the, the statue was thick and, and shorter than, you know, a typical six-foot male. Chunkier than the normal guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, uh, mate, it might have been a 5'10 person or 5'8 five, five, person, but they would have been 150 kilo. That's pretty heavy. You know, 140 kilo, you know, pretty heavy, you know, pretty solid. So how many people in the car got a view well, of it? Well, but it was certainly, you could see it was thick set. How many people in the car actually got a view of it? Definitely myself and um, the other girl, Zilla, mm. the front seat. The, 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 the other two, I'm, I don't think really they got to see it in the back because they had to then try and look between the seats or whatever they were trying to do at the time. And I'd say... I don't think they would have seen it. My brother, I don't think, actually saw it. He remembers when, when we saw it, though, but I don't think he actually did. It would have been in the last hour of light, but it was still light enough to see to see colour. Yeah, still light enough for colour. Mm. OK, so you had to view for a couple of seconds and it takes off, and you think it was kind of five, six-foot-ish? You know, it wasn't huge, but it was just really solid. Yeah, there's no way I would have called it over six-foot, I don't think. Is there any way that it could have been a guy in a suit, or is it, like, how likely like, is that? In a ghillie suit? No. Not the way it moved or the, how thick set. Like, it wasn't a guy in a ghillie suit. Uh, did you ever talk about it to anybody else after you saw it? Yeah, a few, actually, and, um, and not, not openly either, you know. Just quietly? Yeah, I, um, I know what I saw. I saw lots of stuff in the bush. You know, I'd lived in the bush for a long time. And seen he had been stalked by cassowaries and stupid stuff like that. Um, but this was different. Yeah, that was different for sure. I couldn't say, oh, that could have been a cow. You know, it could have been a goat with long hair. It could have been a, you know, whatever animal I could have made it try and be. I couldn't pick one. If you think back to the time when you're driving, what was your reaction to it? Was it like, oh, what is that? Or was it something oh, yeah, else? Yeah, I thought, what, yeah, what's this? And I wanted to see it better because yeah. I knew it was like something was going down with it. Mm. And I just like, accelerated as fast as I could go. And, you know, to this day, maybe I should have just hit the skids at the spot, got out and had a look. Mm. I was like, well, what if this thing is going crazy? You know, you don't know. At the time, yeah, that's what I, I think maybe I should have just pulled up and had a good look around. But I couldn't see it on the drive past. But, and I was only doing probably, well, at the spot, I wouldn't have been doing more than 60k an hour. So it wasn't like a really flew past the spot. You said it was sort of crouched, it sort of came up and then was gone. Are you saying that it was moving really quick or just where it was situated it was easy to sort of disappear pretty quickly? Oh, I don't think it moved in any superhuman sort of movement sort of thing. It moved quickly but then I, my sight would have been blocked by whether it be a, a tree or a, some sort of a shrub or whatever it might have been that, you know, from 50 metres back, it was just all of a sudden, you know, you're ten me five metres in a bit of bush and you can't be seen because there's a few trees in it around. Have you ever heard of any other stories around that spot or, like... One of the few fellows, a bit, this was army days, I met in the army up there and I mentioned it to him one night, whatever we were doing, and uh, he said, oh, yeah, my old man's from that area and he remembers seeing, he reckons he's seen it too, the old Yowie. I think that was sort of probably at least probably 10 to 15 years prior in that same area. Is there anything else in terms of details? I mean, did you see arms or legs or a neck or a head? or Can you describe kind of the structure of the thing? I can't say I saw hands or feet because of undergrowth, but I could definitely pick out like a, a leg and an upper torso with arms 
right, at least one arm, the near side arm I could see. The far side, I, I didn't, I can't remember seeing it. You know, we're talking about a, nearly 20 years ago now, isn't it? But it obviously stuck in your mind. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, I used to love doing what I did and everything, and um, I still do enjoy being outdoors and don't see shit like I saw. Mm. <laughs> you, you, you just wasn't like a different sort of owl or a different sort of kangaroo or something. You just don't see, see things moving like that. And, uh, yeah, it definitely wasn't a dinosaur. So. You know, when you were saying it kind of was unusual, an unusual movement, are you sort of saying it was weird because it was like this big thing beside the road, big hairy thing, gets up and moves off, and you don't see that normally in the Aussie bush? Is that Was that primarily the thing that caught your eye, just this big mass up and moving, is that the main thing that was sort of... I absolutely busted him though, like I come down that track obviously at a nice casual speed and he didn't hear the engine coming and I just caught him in the open because he was, when I first got it, that first glimpse it was like I was getting the last of the front on turning and I caught the movement as he was turning like from being front on looking down the road at me to turning side on ready to move off, like I say he was sort of half crouching front on me, he was twisting to move off yeah. and um I could just tell he had the look, at, not the look because I didn't see his face, but he was shocked that, like, shit, I've got to get out of here sort of thing. I'm, there's a car right there. Something like that. would be more used to um, maybe moving off a little bit earlier. You yeah. Know? No, I understand that. That sounds really logical, yeah. So. Yeah, but I sort of, it's like, yep, caught you out. And I, and I saw it straight away. The movement gave it away. And it was, like I say, about 100 metres. And I just thought, oh, shit. I know what that is. Well, I knew because I, I, I'd heard about yeah, you know, but I just knew what it was, and I couldn't, I couldn't say that it was a bloody roo or or something else. So it was pretty much when you looked at it, you thought, oh, geez, that's 